Welcome back to the 75 gallon mixed reef aquarium. I'm going to start off with a quick shot of one of my favorite corals sitting in the center of the tank. And we'll be talking about the RODI system in this video, mainly switching out the carbon block, the sediment filter, and the DI resin, and of course the membranes. First off, we have the supply order drop from BRS. I picked up one color changing DI resin, carbon block, one membrane, 75 gallons per day, and a nice pause of the reef tank. Back to business. So here's the setup. It is um, stationed underneath my sink. There's a sediment filter. Um, it's been a while since I've changed it. My pressure runs at right around 80 PSI, so there's no um, booster pump. And I did the upgrade. All right, so here, just kind of an overview of the system. And one thing I noticed is that the batteries for the TDS um, meter um, are relatively cheap, but they seem to go pretty fast, and I don't know why. So if you have any pointers on this, please leave it in the description down below. Now we've dragged the entire unit out onto the floor. We'll start with the sediment filter. Not as dirty, I guess, as um, it could be, but compared to the new one and the relative price of changing out the sediment filter, I really should do it more often. It's been a while. Uh, since the last time I uploaded a video was probably the last time I even looked at this thing. Um, I do have chloramines in my city water. So we'll go ahead and pull the old one out and switch it out do a side-by-side -side comparison and again in the future i'm going to be a little bit better um, in switching this because i do uh, fill up uh, i believe three gallon water containers um, so i definitely use um, it for the fish tank the fresh water and the salt water plus for sometimes drinking water Here's the new one in the canister. We'll get it connected back to the unit. And with the upcoming carbon block, it's one micron. And what I do is I have a rotation. So this unit has two carbon blocks. And what I do is the one on the far right gets moved into the second position, stage two. And then the new one goes into the replaces the far right position and so that's the rotation onto the membrane so with the membrane um, long overdue here need to replace that and we'll end up doing most of that off camera. And a little break of the reef. This is a side shot. Um, still doing okay with my tester SPS. Um, here's a shot of the Flame Angel. And so water obviously is the foundation for a solid reef tank and here's the di resin mostly um it's the color changing i was thinking about upgrading but we'll see if i end up splitting the di resins into the the three unit canister but for right now i'm running two 
and here's it filled up about halfway and those sponges I need to order some more it's one of those things that is relatively cheap uh, a couple dollars and I only had one on hand so here we are everything has been switched out and I moved the unit back underneath the sink and you can see the PSI stays right slightly below 80 so it's like at a what 78 maybe yeah 78 79 psi so solid water pressure and you can see i had to reuse one of the old sponges at the top and so my next order i'll get that switched out and then the new sediment filter, which is also one micron. The old carbon block right there. And then the new carbon block is to the far right. And another side shot of the reef tank coming up. Added some new corals. Um, and have one more cool order and then I'm pretty much done for the year and have some videos upcoming on that well thanks for watching welcome new subscribers and stay tuned for new updates